Good morning, first graders. It's Miss Ha, and I've got my creepy tiny hands and my binoculars. I made these binoculars out of two toilet paper rolls. I love to reuse and get creative, and then I colored them. And then to keep them together, I stapled them, but you could tape them or do whatever you want. And now I can focus on my sense of vision. When I'm using my sight or my vision, I'm using my eyes and that's sending messages to my brain and that's something that helps me observe. Do you remember my science vocabulary necklace? This says observe and when we observe, we use our senses. When I use my binoculars, I see. When I use my ears, I hear or listen. When I use my nose, I'm smelling. When I use my tongue and my taste buds, I'm tasting. And when I use my hands, I'm feeling. And even when I close my eyes, I do a different kind of sensing and feeling. I notice what's going on in my body Sometimes you mention you notice you can feel blood circulating in places like your knees or your toes. You can feel your heart beating without touching it. That's a different kind of awareness and sense, and that's super important. That's been connected to your body, your mind connection to your body. It's incredible. So today we're going to talk about how we record what we observe. And this word record, let's look at it together and say it. You can say it at home, record. You try, record. When we record, we write something down and we can use pictures and words and I'm gonna show you. Today I wanna start practicing using a science notebook. And a science notebook is a place where I record my ideas, my observations, and this journal also has my gratitude. That's important to me. I'm gonna go get something from nature that I just collected this morning from my nature walk. Last year in kindergarten, we learned all about trees through the seasons and I found a really neat tree part. Do you think you can identify some of these parts? If you can, tell a family member. Well, now I'm gonna open my notebook and I'm gonna show you how I record. I'll place my object here and I'm gonna find a clean page. I like to journal in the morning these days. Helps me feel better because I have so many things going on in my mind. Okay, I found a new page and I'm gonna write a heading first. And today I'll just write science. Let's keep it simple. Science, S, C, I, E, N, C, E. Science. The date today, Monday, September 14th, 2020. Now I'm going to record what I observe. I'm going to record by writing down and drawing using words, what I observe, and that's what I use my senses to do. So let's observe this together. Now, I'm gonna record, and if you wanna get a notebook or whiteboard, you can press pause and go get something to record with. We're gonna practice this in class too. I see a stem and that's a plant part. And it's interesting, it's not green like I'm used to seeing. It's sort of like purpley, it's really beautiful. Right now I'm using a pen, but you might wanna use a pencil because I'll be honest, a pencil is easier to erase if you make mistakes. And I also have something else that you might have too. This is where I keep my art supplies. I have markers, colored pencils, watercolors. Miss Panto shared these with me and so now I have them here. What 
color are these objects? I would say the closest might be red. So when I'm recording in science, a scientific illustration, I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna actually use the color that matches. Sometimes I color using my imagination and like art time or science art time. And sometimes I just wanna draw so clearly like it's almost like a photograph. I'm gonna finish coloring these berries and then I want you to use your imagination to think about how you might record this object in your notebook. And I'm gonna make a quick label and show you. I'm recording two science vocabulary words that I just shared with you. Berries and STEM. This is a diagram. This is a diagram in my science notebook and we're gonna practice that this week. Can't wait to see you first graders, bye!